Well, let's start with a classical computer. A classical computer takes bits, ones and zeros, uh, and arranges them in a, in a, a core processor made up of classical components, processes them using algor uh, um, arithmetic and logical operations, and gets out an answer. In the case of a quantum computer, we start off with a different definition of the bit. The bit is now a superposition of ones and zeros. In other words, it's a sort of parallel one and zero at the same time. If I take n bits, then I can explore all possible questions to answer, uh, ask my computer. Also, the computer itself will exist in many superposition states of possible uh, processes going on inside and it's that parallelism that actually provides this exponential speed up for particular problems. One very important problem of course is the problem of factorization of very large numbers which is in uh, classical computers exponential in size of the problem whereas in quantum computers, it takes polynomial time and thus makes most of our internet communications insecure if we can make a quantum computer. 